Welcome to this week's Quick Charge. Jesus overheard his disciples arguing about who should be the greatest. So he said to them, if any man wants to be first, he must be last and servant of all. Or if anyone wanting to be the greatest, they must be the least. This reminds us that true greatness, ironically, only arises through serving rather than by obtaining or attaining. And it may not look so great while we're actually doing what is truly great in the economy of God. Consider this story in Luke chapter 10. There was once a Jewish man traveling from Jerusalem to Jericho when bandits robbed him along the way. They beat him severely and stripped him naked and left him half dead. Now we know that a priest and a Levite both passed by without helping him. But the Bible says, finally, another man, a Samaritan, came upon the bleeding man, and he was moved with tender compassion for him. And he stooped down and he gave him first aid, pouring olive oil into his wounds and disinfecting them with wine. And he bandaged them to stop the bleeding. Lifting him up, he placed him on his own donkey and brought him to an inn. The next morning, he took his own money from his wallet and gave it to the innkeeper with these words. Take care of him until I come back from my journey. If it costs more than this, I will repay you when I return. Oddly enough, the one character in this story that rarely gets a mention is the innkeeper. The word to him was, take care of him. Now that's a mandate to serve. Even though the injured man can't repay him or can't contribute to the bottom line of his inn. He's not getting anything out of it. Yes, he's given money, but that won't be enough because he is advised it will cost more and it will cost him personally. Plus the actual repayment is not to be immediate, not in a week or not in a year, but when I return at the end. This task certainly wouldn't look very great or make him feel very great. That's why Jesus said in Luke 6.35, serve and invest, expecting nothing in return. So when we serve that which cannot serve us in return and cannot pay us back, we obtain true greatness. Jesus said in Luke 14, when you give a dinner or a supper, do not ask your friends or your rich neighbors, lest they also invite you back and you be repaid. But when you give a feast, invite the poor, and you will be blessed because they cannot repay you, for you shall be repaid at the resurrection of the just. Jesus said, don't make that fatal mistake of just investing in what can return something to you or what seems beneficial to you. When we serve what cannot possibly profit us, that's actually the point. Jesus said, because they cannot repay you, you will be blessed later on and repaid at the end. So to disregard an opportunity to serve because it doesn't seem important or because we won't get anything out of it, or it doesn't really do anything for us, would be a fatal error and very flawed thinking because that's where the true greatness really is. And that takes real conviction. Join me next week for more of When Greatness Doesn't Look So Great. God bless.